I'm Martin Green and uh, I play the accordion and I've been making this show Crow's Bones for Opera North. Crow's Bones actually comes from one of the songs and it's all about ghost stories and spooky kind of tales and murder ballads from the folk tradition. It's songs but with a uh, just essence of theatrics thrown in, mostly to make people feel slightly unsettled and slightly uncomfortable. The amplification of, of the girls' voices in places is done by tin tin cans with little tiny microphones in so they have that tin can sound and they go out to gramophone horns. You end up with this very kind of nasal, almost like you, the megaphone effect that you hear or old radio effect. I've done a few projects with Opera North. Every year they have a, a show about ghosts, and some, that's something that's very interesting to folk musicians. And for some reason, we are fascinated by ghosts and ghost stories. It's the darker kind of stories that, that I've always been drawn to in folk music. And folk music and folk songs are, are about real life, really, but then there's this kind of fairy tale edge to them as well. Really the essence of getting into what is scary is about pinpoints, I think. It's not about broad strokes, it's about what is it that's really unsettling. We got these songs from all over the place. Ghost songs are certainly not a fad. It's not something that people have stopped doing. People are still writing songs about ghosts and they're still fascinated. It makes me think in 200 years time, we'll still be singing songs about some kind of otherworldly spirits that come back and distress us. The film footage that we've got is uh, from a woman called Ruth Paxton in Edinburgh, who's a fascinating filmmaker who has a, a great understanding of the distressing and the disturbing. No direct narrative in this film, but it it is definitely unsettling. And, and Nicholas is amazing. I, I, he's a new friend, and, and he's the Nickel Harper I haven't come across before. The Nickel Harper is a, a keyed fiddle from Sweden, and it has resonant, sympathetic strings, and there's something about those that make it sound like it was hundreds of years ago, something timeless about that. These elements are all have some kind of otherworldliness about it. This night, this night, every night and all, fire. Martin Green asked me to be um, part of the project and I've, I absolutely love Lau, his band, and Inga is an amazing singer. The difference between when there is a very thick moment of madness where there's lots of things happening musically and happening musically and, and then it comes as a juxtaposition to that down to just Becky's voice which in itself is very eerie. And, and for me, those are the moments in the show that are quite, you know, show-stopping. It was 
gems for me that came up when Becky and Inga went away and started looking at songs was a song called I Saw the Dead by a band called Villagers from Ireland. We've got a series of music boxes that I bought off eBay which play various different well-known tunes but simultaneously and uh, the combination of these little boxes which are creepy things anyway, music boxes, and Becky's voice, which is, in this song, really quite unnerving. I think that, that might be my favorite moment in this show at the moment. That's the one that I'm gonna go, Whoa! even though I've now seen it a dozen times in rehearsal, I still know it's gonna get me in the show. Mm -hmm. 